morning guys another day in this weather it's winter time and uh, it's the 31st and tomorrow it's gonna be New Year so guys the weather today it's not that great you know it's a bit cold and a bit uh, moist moisty and I uh, got in my head that you know I want to try to um, hunt you know I said maybe I should hunt some uh, vintage um, stereos um, from receivers to uh, amplifiers, speakers, turntables, stuff like that. So now I'm heading that way and uh, I'm gonna check that. Yeah, I'm gonna check that place. Uh, this is a different place, guys. And uh, I'm gonna see what's going on down there. You know, I mean, this is a. Uh, place that I've never uh, really go and see what's going on down there so this is the right time and uh, the right moment I guess so just pop into my head that I want to go before Christmas I mean um, this year over and uh, New Year you know comes and I'm heading now yeah so right now guys my uh, my goal is uh, speakers all right I'm looking for uh, vintage speakers, um, maybe uh, Sansui or Marantz or Technique, Spider, um, Fisher, stuff like that, you know? So that's my goal for um, this week to, to, uh, to find some uh, vintage speakers, even though uh, I got some speakers already. I'm just looking for some, uh, not really big, not really small, so just a medium size, and uh, that would be, you know, that would be nice if I see uh, vintage ones. Yeah. Last week, guys, I was looking at this um, Canadian speakers, guys. It's uh, made in Canada. It's uh, it's a good speaker. It's black. The, um, the outlet in the back. It's not one of those like you just push it in the red and black and you, you know push it out and you know push the uh, speaker wires in these are um, one of those um, um, with a, uh, what do you call it like uh, like um, red circle that you spin you, you turn and it goes down and it's tightening the wire it's a uh, there's a name for that it's for that but anyways yeah so um, that's how I see see the police there you know waiting for a good year to come so they can uh, pull somebody over speeding or expired uh, sticker yeah something um, not a valid license you know so plates expired not renewing uh, insurance policy things like that so and the cop today guys they don't even have to shoot anymore. They do have a sensor. It's like a laser thing that you, you, you won't see it. And when you pass by, it goes straight to their computers and they see if you have a bad record. You know, um, speeding, DUI, crime, whatever it is. But anyways, so I'm looking for a vintage speakers and I'm heading there now. And hopefully I will see a good one. That's my goal. So buying these speakers, guys, um, it's not, you know, it's not really a, a big deal um, to like regular people to buy um, really expensive speakers. You know, you can find uh, used speakers, uh, vintage speakers, and good speakers that people don't like it anymore. Some people move out, some people sold their house, they have a mansion, they, they, they don't want to take it anymore. Because these people are busy with their minds and just want to get rid of their house to sell it and get the profit or their money and move to another state. And they get rid of their stuff, you know, even um, they still want it, but sometimes, you know, I mean, their, their heads is uh, all over the place sometimes, you know. So they, they let it go. And then when they move to a new place, they realize that I still want that turntable. Why did I give that? Just throw it away, you know? So things like that, and that happens to everyone. 
Yeah. So guys, I'm going to this place that they sell some uh, vintage uh, stereos. And, uh, yeah. So back to the topic, like I said, buying speakers, guys, you don't have to really invest a lot of money for your speakers unless you're really making a lot of money, like 200,000 a year, 300,000 300, a year, yeah, or a million, then that, go for the Macintosh, you know, why not? Pay for uh, cable, uh, speaker cables for $30,000, why not? You make 200,000 a year, or a million if you have a business, or you're already wealthy, why not? But for the people that they just average making 60,000, you know, try to be smart because this hobby, guys, is not cheap, you know. I mean, you buy one thing at a time, any stereos, um, speakers, it accumulates, guys, you know, turntables, vinyl records, all this stuff. It accumulates because why I know this? Because I spent tons of money for my hobby with the stereos and uh, that's what happens you know so you have to be smart because once it's accumulated then you know it becomes a problem unless you have a big garage or basement or uh, stereo room you know what I mean or um, I would say um, you're uh, you buy and sell then it's a different story guys so you have to you know balance your uh, your hobby or your expenses but if you're single you make 100k why not even 60,000 a year so buying the speakers guys you can always get a good speakers out there there's a lot of people that they sell speakers nowadays they don't want it anymore they sell it in Facebook um, they sell it in uh, what do you call this um, you know the apps uh, let go before offer up now you, you can check that out you know and then online eBay so a lot of you know free market so you don't really have to to spend uh, unless you're a very classy guy you like to spend money and uh, you like to, to, to have a brand new um, speakers yeah so so now I'm heading that way guys and uh, we will uh, see this place, and I hope I will find even one, even a set of speakers. That would be nice. You know what I mean. So we will see, and uh, I will know when I get there. So guys, um, I'm gonna cut this video, and uh, I'll see you when I see you with my, uh, you know. My um, my vintage stereos or speakers, if I see one, you know. So wish me luck and happy New Year to you guys. All right, guys, enjoy your stereos and have a nice day. So for now, let's say bye. Yeah. And old speakers missing something there it's made in Japan it's a nice piece the insides here which I cannot see because of this oh, no. let's see another rainy day today guys let me see. This is the inside. Ah, oh, you got some damage here. Look at this. Yeah, a little damage now. This one is nice, the Peter. And the other one. And the other one's over here, I can't see. Kenwood, what is this? Um, Technique State Ducks. Yeah. And Kenwood. Okay, or there's the model right there. Small one. Yeah. You gotta see this one here. I don't know what it looks like. It's a little 
got a little damage in there. This one is not bad. Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna give it to me for the price I want. Oh. Alright guys, another video here from Techniques. Alright guys, so I got this uh, two Techniques speakers. And it seems like um, still nice condition. The looks of it, it's nice. I like the the front looks. It's, and, uh, you know, um, this is going to be okay to my... Um, stereos because the size of the speakers only this guys i gotta fix this right here you know i gotta do something with that i gotta i gotta patch that thing and pretty much that's it guys i mean as you can see here in the back this one is missing i gotta fix that thing these are made in japan that's the thing i bought it yeah and it seems like uh still good yeah for the price I pay. So that's how I uh, pay for my um, speakers, guys, my system. I don't pay a lot of money because unless it's really necessary because uh, it's just a speaker and you know, I mean, all right, let me put this in the car. Let's carry this guy here. All right, let's put this inside right here. Right, let's put that like that. Right there. Let's do this one. Yeah. So let's carry it. Oh, hold on. Let's get the cover here. Techniques. Te Techniques is not a bad brand, you know. And these are rare, guys. I don't really see this. So this is gonna sound good. Let's put it here. Yeah. Make sure they don't hit each other. Yeah. That's how I do it, guys. So let's fix this bad boy. There you go. And let's just cover it with this uh, coat. It's winter and it's cold. There it is, guys. Another good score here from Techniques. All right. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Pa-pow.